Hello everyone, you are watching My Epic Tales, and today we are doing the Nest of Vipers quest. I'm just going to show you step by step how to get to Runt's camp following Timmy's instructions. So we can cut through this field, go straight to the woodcutter's camp. Probably, probably the easiest part of his instructions. After this shrub line, you're going to start to notice a lot of trees cut down. And of course, this is our clue that we're getting close to the woodcutter's camp, right? Here we are. And you can hit down for the new codex if you guys want to read about camping in the Middle Ages. Go ahead and pause. And pause. So, it tells us, Woodcutter's Camp by the Northern Road from Tomberg, completed. And then our next objective, go to the fork with the ruined cabin. So if we continue on, not too far might I add, just right up here. Objective completed. Next instruction. Go straight ahead to the next fork by a clearing with a big beech tree. So, if you actually look back, you can see that straight back. This would be straight ahead. And we're looking for a very large tree. And there's a very large tree. So, objective complete. There's our large beech tree. Take a left and continue on the path to the next fork. So, left. There's an interesting site if anybody wants to check that out. Okay, we should be coming up to another junction right here. And then that objective's complete. It'll give us more instructions. Take a left and carry on to the junction. Now, a junction would be uh, basically crossroads. Wait, what? I could have swore I saw a helmet or something on the ground. It must have been the, the sunlight playing tricks on me. Okay, and here we are at the junction, wait for further instructions, carry on straight at the crossroads all the way to the camp, literally go straight, <laughs> what's going on with you, beggar? What happened to you? The farmer threw me out with my little girl, the bastard, he fathered it himself. And then got rid of us so his wife wouldn't scratch his eyes out. And I'm left with nothing but to beg here at the roadside. God have mercy on me. Who would wouldn't do that to their own kid? For me, sir? I haven't eaten for three days. Everything I find, I give to the little ones. Uh, you know what? There, I'm sure there's been plenty of discussion about this by now, but isn't it kind of weird that there are no children in Kingdom Come? Um... Yeah, I'll go ahead and just give her some money. Um, Don't you want to go to Ratai? There are other refugees there. Someone will take care of you. No, sorry sir, but I won't go there. I've heard what happens there. I'd like to bring the children something better to eat than acorns. Haven't you got something for me, sir? Of course. Here you are. Thank you, sir. 
thank you a hundredfold. Jeez. Far she worked at a farmer at a farm. Farmer gets her pregnant and then kicks her and the baby out. That's crazy. So you want to be careful from here on out, right? Because straight ahead is Runt's camp. Matter of fact, we might even want to go on foot from here. Let me go ahead and show you where this is on the map. And I apologize if you hear a big vibrating machine. AEP and coincidentally a tree cutting company is right outside my house. So here we are. Uh, his camp is going to be right over in here. If you just keep going straight, you're going to run right into it. Now, I don't want to get caught, and neither do you. And I want to show you guys something pretty cool that I found real quick. I think I put it on my horse. Yeah. Look at that. Poison. Potion that poisons anyone who consumes it. Let's go ahead and move that to the inventory. I'm going to need that. Sir Radzik will ask you to see if there's anything you can do to sabotage the camp. So I'm going to try to catch one of them on their own, uh, knock them out, move their body, steal their armor, get into the camp, and poison it. And that will be in the next video. Also, if you want to know where you can find some poison in my previous video, the one right before this, I show you guys. So, if, and I actually found a grave that you can dig up, so you're going to want a spade. You can find a spade at Miller Peshek's homestead leaning up against a wagon, I believe, or you can buy a spade from a blacksmith. Get a spade, put it in your horse inventory so it's always with you. And uh, you can dig up this particular grave, and there'll be like a necklace you can sell for like a thousand dollars, and some poison, and some wormwood, and some other kind of rare herb. So make sure you check out my previous video as well. And in the next video, we're gonna we're gonna sabotage the heck out of this camp. Thank you for watching. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a like if you liked the video. And if it was helpful, leave me a comment and tell me it was helpful. If I did something wrong, let me know what I did wrong so I can do better in my next video. Bye-bye.